Hi everybody, this is my second video about the garage uh, cargo hoist. So I'm going to be doing some uh, drastic modification to the system. And uh, So let me, let me explain first. Okay, I've used this only a few times and I already discovered uh, the, the rope is uh, deteriorating because of the uh, erupts against the, the brakes tab. So technically, according to the manufacturing instructional video, uh, which I'm going to include in the, in the description, uh, technically you're supposed to pull, uh, pull the rope straight down um, to disengage the brake. And this is impossible because of the size of the box. So the hoist brake cannot be disconnected from the ground. When you try to pull on the ropes, just there's not enough, because of the angle, there's no way um, the brake can be disconnected. So the only way to do it is uh, to pull one rope at a time and gradually lower the, lower the box, which is still not very efficient and at the same time you're um, damaging, damaging the rope. So I purchased this uh, trailer winch for $22 on Amazon and it has a 1 to 3 ratio between these two gears so it should be fairly easy even with, uh, I don't know, 50, 60, 70 pounds uh, loaded into the box and it has a, a brake mechanism uh, that will hold the rope in place. I also purchased two pulleys uh, for seven dollars um, one and a half inch pulleys that I'm gonna install uh, right in the corner and then I'm gonna run the rope down the down the wall um, to all the way to the to the winch. I also purchased some hardware additional hardware uh, at uh, Home Depot so let's see if we can do this okay so I'm gonna connect these two pulleys using uh, small bolts that I also purchased at uh, Home Depot so this is just gonna make it uh, one, uh, one, one unit Okay, so I have uh, predetermined the location of the pulley. Now I just need to pre drill <clears throat> the bolt holes for the pulley. According to the manual, this is one hand operation, so I should be able to hold the camera and position the, the pulley. So I already pre-drilled the holes. Here's the pulley. Here are the bolts. So I'm just gonna grab one of the bolts and try to maneuver around this Try to position them. Okay, one goes here. And these are um, fairly large bolts. Um, probably way over design for the, um, for the weight of uh, of the rope or the, the actual cargo box but instead of doing some engineering calculations and um, I'm just gonna way over design this thing so it'll last forever um, second bolt goes right in here perfect Now the ratchet. Yeah. 
and okay, I got a switch. It's going in and hopefully going to some wood. And at the same time, it's getting hot in here. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to finish this. Soon. There we go. Okay, second side, it's going to be very similar, so I think I'm just going to use my both hands. Okay, so it took me a little bit longer than I expected, but I have the pulley officially installed, so that's in line with uh, um, the other pulley on the other side. So the winch will be installed in the vertical position in line with the pulley um, somewhere in this location. I just need to make sure I'm uh, bolting it into the, into the stud. Um, so uh, let's see. Okay, time to drill some holes. Let's see. Okay, time to attach the winch to the wall. I have three pre-drilled holes. And uh, did I mention that this uh, winch is, uh, let me check the model number. It's TR81510. Once again, TR81510. It's rated for 600 pounds. So I think it should handle a 50 pound um, cargo box. I'm gonna use my drill to make it quicker, save some energy. All right, let's see. That's one. There's my second bolt. Okay, now the idea is to bypass the, the braking tab of the hoist system, hoist system and just uh, push it through directly um, to those two pulleys. So let's see, let me just cut it right in half. There we go. Ooh. And that has to go over there. And now I can push the rope to the pulley system. And it looks like the ropes might not be long enough. So I'll probably I'll have to uh, purchase a longer uh, rope. Uh, today I'm just gonna finish it and just to make sure the system works but uh, seems like a longer uh, rope is, will, be, will be required. 
Okay, last step in this process. Just need to uh, secure the, the end of the rope to the winch. Let's see. Let's use one of these holes and one of these. Just put a knot at the end. And now the testing of the system. Let's see if this works. At all. Let's just lower it first. And like I said, I would probably have to buy another longer rope for this to work properly. Let's see. Okay, it requires no effort whatsoever because of one to three ratio. So everything works <clears throat> as designed, except for the fact it takes a little bit longer. So the next episode, I'm gonna install some electric motor with a remote control so I can control it from my phone uh, and lift the cargo box uh, that way. But for now, let's just test the, uh, the release mechanism. I don't know if it's going to be seen properly. Let's see. Oh, it works. Works pretty good. So this can be lower onto the car slowly and securely. And then you flip the tab. And lift it. Okay. And thanks for watching.